Good morning, everyone. Today, I have the key to this 2019 Volvo S90. This is the T5 Momentum trim. Uh, so this does have the two liter turbo four cylinder. Uh, and this thing's got a lot of features in it. So let's take a look around this thing. Pretty interesting looking key fob. It's got the buttons on the side. This also has an option for a power trunk. And this is all wheel drive. But you got a ton of room back here. And you have your power close right there. All right. Let's have a seat inside. Wow. Jeez, there's a ton of room. Well, there's a button to power fold these headrests uh, if you have a hard time seeing out the back, I suppose. Yeah, there's a lot of room, and that's where I would normally sit if I was driving, so this has a ton of room. I mean, this is the S90, so this is like their flagship sedan. Uh, this this car starts at around like 47 grand brand new. Um, I can't quite remember what this thing was stickered at brand new with the options and everything. I want to say it was around 57 because uh, it has a few extra things that are not standard. Nice sunroof, leather seats. All right, let's pop the hood of this thing. Should be right here. Where is it? There we go. There we are. Okay, so like I said before, this has the two liter turbo four cylinder. Oh, is it right here? Yep. There we are. Two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine makes 250 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. Um, it is driven through an eight speed automatic and fuel economy is pretty good. You're rated around 22 miles a gallon around town in this or, you know, in the city and uh, about 31 miles a gallon on the highway. So pretty efficient. Plenty of get up and go. You got parking sensors on the front and the rear, so this way if you get too close pulling in or backing in, the car will yell at you. Alright, let's have a seat in here. Okay. I think I'll get a little bit more adjusted. Maybe a little bit further. There we go. Perfect. This is kind of an interesting start button. So foot on the brake still, you have to take this and twist it. And we're on. And it tells you I'm not buckled. Turn this down a little bit. Everything is screen controlled. You got heated seats. And if we go close out of here, you can connect your phone with Bluetooth. It shows you your uh, navigation. That's pretty neat. You can make it full screen if you want. Pretty cool. Got your parking brake right here. Different drive modes. There's a scroller right here. If you press, if you click on it, and then you can actually go between eco, comfort, and dynamic. So right now I'm going to leave it in comfort because that's just apparently everyday use. Put my seatbelt on. All right. Got buttons for the sunroof right here. little net comes up for bugs it's all one touch and then if you press it again it does the cover for it as well Put that all the way back oh here we go there we go yeah put that back down there we are Perfect. Got visors with a light. Auto dimming rear view mirror with a built-in garage door opener. The wipers are rain sensing. All right, guys, we're ready to go.
very quiet in the cabin. Got a heads-up display in the in the uh, windshield. That's also an option. You have adaptive cruise control in this as well, which I'll, I'll show you that on the highway. It also has steering assist as well, so when you put the adaptive cruise on, it will steer for you. Steering is very easy, very, very comfortable. Seats are very nice for leather. nice you don't really have to push down on the pedal too hard. You can tell there's a little bit of turbo lag, but it's not too bad. The power delivery, you could definitely tell when you put your foot down on the, on the gas, it needs to spool up and then you go. definitely tell the suspension is very cushy when you go over a bump it's it's pretty pretty bouncy but it's not like harsh it's it's in a good way when it bounces it's it's soft also notice it has a blind spot monitor in the mirrors too I believe that's another option Good low end torque for the hill here. Doesn't drop down at all. As soon as it builds boost, it just chugs right on up. too late to put it in dynamic mode for high performance. Ooh, I can definitely tell the steering wheel feels a little different. Oh yeah. Wow. 
huge, huge difference between comfort and dynamic. Throttle response, a million times better. There's virtually no turbo lag. Whereas where you're in comfort, it spools up and then you can feel it go. Wow. That is, I don't know why I put my blinker on just now. Wow, that's very impressive. I can tell it shifts at higher RPMs as well. The steering wheel, the feel of it tightened up a little bit. So wow, like there, there's a very big difference between the drive mode here. You know, I was going to put it back in comfort. I'll just see how it rides in dynamics, see if it did anything with the suspension. I think it did firm it up a little bit. They just repaved this, so this isn't really a good test for bumps. I was going to see how harsh, if the bumps got any harsher. I can't tell yet. It's still pretty, still pretty plush. It's actually got pretty decent acceleration in dynamic. But yeah, besides it kicking down a gear, uh, the only thing I, yeah, I, I can tell it kicks down a lot quicker. Very cool. That's definitely an awesome idea for someone that wants to get a little bit more out of their car performance wise. I mean, if you're just like somebody that likes to drive it around. You know, as a commuter, that's great and everything, because the eco or comfort is fantastic for that. But if you want to get a little more, a little more enjoyment out of your out of your commute, dynamic is a really cool drive mode. I, I can't believe how it how it changed the way car the, the way the car behaves is completely different. Tell the windows are tinted a little bit, so it's a little bit harder to see. Looks good. Man. All right, so we'll put it back in. You know what? We haven't tried eco. We'll just do. We'll put it in eco. I can tell each drive mode it changes the the display here. So now we're in eco. This apparently find, uh, focuses on fuel economy. Steering's a little bit looser. I can definitely feel that. It shifts a lot quicker. It shifts at lower RPMs, much lower, even lower than comfort. That sun is just in an awkward position right now. It's right in between this little piece right here where I don't have any any protection. I want to be able to see. But this is really nice, guys. This is very, very nice. And like I said, this thing started, this thing was like 57,000, I think the sticker on this was like 57 grand back in 2019, and I think right now it's, I want to say, it's, I think it's around like high 20s, I want like 20, 28, 27, 28, it's got 28,000 miles on it. This is a really nice car. Looking for something nicer and cheaper. Ride quality is very nice. It's the main takeaway here. One thing I do wish I was able to show you guys 
that I'm not able to because it's daytime is one of the main features that I really think is cool about this because I've, I've driven it at night and I was able to see it. This does have the daytime running lights that are LEDs in the front. It's called Thor's Hammer is what they call it because if it looks like a, I guess if you look at the front of it, it looks like a sideways what Thor's Hammer would, would look like. But in addition to that, not only does it have those, those LED DRLs, the headlights are adaptive. So as you turn, the headlights actually turn into the turn with you, which I thought was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. If I'm still able to do, if I can snag this for nighttime, I can do a night drive and show that. That'd be really, really cool. Hop back on the highway, and then I'm gonna put it back into. We're gonna put it back into dynamic. It will shift for you, but if you want to, you can also put it into a manual mode, which I'm not gonna do, but. You can make this manual if you would like. All right, here we go. All right. Acceleration was very impressive. Pretty cool sounding two liter turbo as well. Set this to put the adaptive cruise on. Yep, but it slowed down for me. Pretty cool. My blind spot monitor should light up here. Yep. Pretty neat. around them. Adaptive cruise control is one of the coolest things. I love how it slows you down if you're getting if you're coming up on somebody. This is really nice. You can see? Yeah, if it with it you can change the distance that it does it. I have it at the closest because I like it at the least sensitive, so this way I don't the car doesn't slam its brakes from a mile away. But it works very nicely. Now if I know if I change it to now right now it's on adaptive cruise, but it does not steer for you. I think if I click this to the right, pilot assist. Yep. So not only is it on adaptive cruise, but it is also steering for me. Which is Really cool. Assist, uh, assisted steering and it's under $30,000. That's neat, I can put it back to adaptive. Slow down a little bit because we're gonna get off this exit here. back to comfort.
tell you what, I've never really had too many opportunities to drive too many Volvos. I'm blown away. This is really, really, really nice. I will say it sounds like to me I would definitely go for the used market rather than new because, oh man, almost $60,000 is quite a lot of money for a car, but luckily used ones aren't that much. Very, very comfortable. Very, very nice ride. If I was in the market, this is definitely something I would pick up. It's all-wheel drive, too, which, I mean, you can't... It's just got the best of everything. It's got a pretty potent engine, all-wheel drive, ton of room. I mean, this is, this is Volvo's flagship sedan. Very nice. And then you just twist this. That's it. Oh, I also apologize for not showing you, but there is also the power trunk button right there, and this does have memory seats. That is, that's standard. All right. I am blown away by this thing, guys, especially for the money. Man. And it's, I guess that that's these are the where the turn signal just lit up like that and now the DRL is on. This is uh this is kind of what they say by Thor's hammer, but that's kind of like that's that's a Volvo thing, I guess. And then you got a front camera right there too. I can I just saw that. And these are also these are washers. This pops out and sprays that with high pressure. Those are washers for the headlights. That thing's nice. Well, I really enjoyed this, guys. Really hope you did, too. Thank you very much again to Blaze Alexander Chevy and Muncie PA for allowing me to shoot these. I really appreciate it, guys. I will see you in the next one.